my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to PW Skills Tech. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how much level of maths is specifically required in order to become a data scientist. Now, this is one of the most common questions that are asked by many, many data science aspirants. Because at the first instance they ask, they say that, Krish, I'm probably coming from this specific background. Can I make a transition to data science? And for that, how much maths I really need to learn? I'm really afraid of maths also because I was not that good in my college days or in my high school days. So I will try to clarify this entire questions to with respect to the most common doubt that people have. Along with this, what all things you really need to focus uh, specifically with respect to different different mathematical topics and how you should basically prepare. I will be covering each and everything as we go ahead in this video. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and start this. Now the first question that how much maths is specifically required to become a data scientist? To start with guys, if you really want to just become a citizen data scientist who can probably solve some business use cases, then the high school maths will be more than sufficient. Now if you're probably coming from the CBSE syllabus, you know, like uh, where you have probably learned linear algebra, differential calculus, integration, Along with that, you have also seen geometric equations and many more things. This much maths will be more than sufficient, including statistics. But still, we really need to understand why people find it difficult, probably with respect to the specific maths, you know. And there is only one specific reason for this. And this reason I used to also face. When I was in my high school days, I used to learn maths just in basically learning the equations or probably solving a specific problem statement. One thing I specifically lacked was that how this specific mathematical equation is getting related to a real world application or to a real world scenario. And this is the problem because of this many people find mathematics difficult. But you should not learn in this specific way. You should always try to learn mathematics in a way that you will be able to relate it to a real world scenario. And that was what data science was able to do for me. You know, once I started learning data science, once I started applying this mathematical equations to some specific data, my mindset was very much clear with respect to the application part. And then I started to find mathematics much more beautiful, much more easier for me for the understanding purpose. And this is also what you should definitely do for all those people who find mathematics difficult. Always try to learn mathematics that is required for data science considering the practical application in mind when you are able to relate that then you will find all the topics in mathematics like linear algebra calculus statistics everything easy because at the end of the day you are able to understand the practical application so guys to go ahead with what are the important mathematical topics that we should definitely learn for probably applying in any data science project. I'd like to divide this into three main subjects. One is linear algebra, the second one is calculus, and the third one is statistics. Now, with respect to these three subjects, I really want to start with linear algebra, and I'll tell you that on which all topics we should definitely focus. Now, when I say we should focus, that basically means we are probably applying this concept with a real world scenario in terms of understanding. So in linear algebra, the most important thing that we specifically learn are about vectors and matrices. With respect to matrices, we perform different different operations like transpose of a matrix, inverse of a matrix, how we can probably calculate the determinant of a matrix. Along with that, how do we perform a dot product between two matrices? How do we find out the eigenvalues, eigenvectors? Now, all these concepts that which I have actually spoken about will be required in some or the other algorithms. One of the algorithm that we specifically use in machine learning, which is called as principal component analysis. There we specifically reduce the number of dimensions of a future. Now, in order to perform this, we'll be requiring eigenvalues and eigenvectors there also. So all these linear algebra concepts that I have specifically spoken about will be used some or the other way. And you should definitely understand it in terms of practical expect, in terms of the real world application. The secondary thing is that I hope you have heard about the two famous libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch. Internally, you will be able to see that over here also with the help of this TensorFlow and PyTorch, what we specifically create is that we create weights, right? And these weights are like a learning parameters. And these weights will also be performing a lot of matrix multiplication when the training of a specific model is basically done. 
Along with this, I would also like to add some few important topics in linear algebra, and that is something related to geometry, you know, and this geometric intuitions may be applied in some of the machine learning algorithms, like what is the equation of a straight line, how to probably calculate the slope with respect to a straight line, along with that, how do we uh, draw a parabola curve, how do I calculate the slope with respect to any point in the parabola curve, so there are multiple topics that are related to this kind of geometric intuition, and this will also also be used in the machine learning algorithm so it is always handy to probably understand these topics and relate it to a real world application now coming to the second important subject that is related to calculus right or you may have also heard about differential equations so here we specifically learn about chain rule of derivatives partial derivatives what is integration what is back propagation what are variance kind of optimizers what is loss functions all these topics will be super important in deep learning topics even in machine learning some of the basic machine learning algorithms like linear regression logistic regression this all differential calculus concepts will be involved right over there and you really need to understand it now again i'm telling you guys these all topics are usually difficult and probably you have heard about these topics even in college days or school days also right if you're probably coming from the cbsc syllabus or icsc syllabus you may have even learned this in 8 to 10th standard you know understanding about differentiation and all but again the main problem that existed over there you were not able to relate it why this is important you know but now when you probably learn with respect to data science you understand a specific problem statement and how you can probably apply all these topics over there so differential calculus holds a very important part in the data science itself and you should also be understanding how differential calculus works and various topics related to differential calculus so the final subject that you should specifically know related to maths that is statistics now statistics again i would like to divide this into two types one is the descriptive statistics or one is the inferential statistics now descriptive statistics is more about summarizing the data inferences inferential statistics is more about providing conclusions uh, of a population data considering a sample data in mind right there we definitely perform a lot of experiments like z test t test and all right so here uh, again with respect to statistics i would like to probably divide the topics based on basic to intermediate and then intermediate to advanced. I hope you have heard about topics like probabilities, variables, random variables, population, sample, um, you know, population means, what is sample mean, how the distribution of the data is, histogram, measure of central tendency like mean, median, mode, what is measure of dispersion like standard deviation and variance. Uh, what are the different kind of distribution like Gaussian normal distribution, log normal distribution, Pareto distribution, there are different different distribution. All these techniques are specifically used to summarize the data. So if you are able to understand these topics and relate it to with respect to a data, a real world data itself, you will be able to do amazingly well with respect to the conclusion, with respect to providing the right kind of exploratory data analysis, the right kind of visualization charts to the right stakeholders so that they will be able to make a meaningful decision with respect to the products and with respect to the business. So guys, in conclusion, one very important thing that I really want to talk about, or probably guide every starters in data science. You know, initially you may really find it overwhelming, but again, understand, uh, one thing is that if you are probably following the entire process of learning data science based on the roadmap that we have discussed in this channel okay where you probably start with python programming language then probably go with statistics machine learning deep learning natural language processing computer vision uh, one thing that i really want to make it clear that you don't have to learn this mathematics separately okay when you're following this entire process wherever this mathematical concept topics is required try to learn it and try to find out how it is related with respect to a specific data or with respect to a real world scenario if you are able to find out this specific bridge right trust me learning maths will be quite interesting because you will be able to understand all these things right so this is one of the most important point that you should really take a note of and probably start your preparation right now, before we go ahead, I really want to make a quick announcement regarding one of the full stack data science pro batch that we have come up with. So I will be talking about this entire batch information. 
So let's go ahead and let's check it out. So guys, we at PW Skills are happy to announce the full stack data science pro batch. And this is a job assurance program. Uh, the batch name is advanced AI and it will be starting from 12th August. The timing of the batch will be from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday. And the doubt clearing will be after that. That is between 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And all the classes will be live. Even the doubt clearing session will be live. What all things we are specifically going to learn about prompt engineering, LLMs, Python, Flask, Probably are going to cover linear algebra, calculus, statistics, machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, natural language processing. You will be also able to see the detailed syllabus uh, in the link that is given in the description of this particular video. So guys, if you are really interested to become a data scientist and probably wants all the help and handholding along with the live session, so definitely this specific batch is for you. Uh, go ahead, check out all the information regarding this batch. It will be given in the description of this particular video. This was it from my side. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all. Take care. Bye-bye.